Hey Falcons, welcome to the College and Career Corner, where we talk about all things related to your post-graduation opportunities. Today, we are going to talk about how to get into college. One of the biggest concerns that I hear from students is about whether or not they'll get into college. That fear of rejection when it comes to your top colleges can be overwhelming and maybe even a little paralyzing for you. Like it might prevent you from getting started. So many students hold off on applying or they just don't apply at all out of fear of that rejection. And so to help you overcome those fears, I'm gonna go through the steps for college admission as well as some advice regarding applying for colleges. So first, let's hit those steps for getting into college. As a quick disclaimer, there are gonna be other videos that go over each of these topics in more detail. So I'm not gonna to go too deep onto them since this is just an overview of the process. Now first things first, research your colleges. Start by just researching the colleges you're interested in attending. Look at their academic programs, location, campus culture, and admission requirements. Look at the filters that you've set up to determine how a college qualifies for you. Do you fit that college? Does that college make sense for you? Do you meet the academic profile of their students? The academic profile would be what did the students this past year get for GPAs, for test scores? What was the average student looking like when it comes to those uh, scores, that GPA? Next step for getting in, take standardized tests if necessary. Many colleges still require applicants to take standardized tests such as the SAT or ACT, but just check with each college you're interested in to see if they require them and what scores they need. Again, you can see the scores that they need sometimes through that academic profile, but that's just what the students had, not necessarily what that college requires. And again, some colleges may not require test scores. The next thing to do would be to actually apply <laughs> to these colleges, right? Submit your application through the college's website or a common application system like the Common App or Georgia Futures. Pay attention to the application deadlines, as well as the deadlines that the documents need to be turned in for, right? Usually that college's application deadline is also their document deadline, meaning that you gotta apply by that date, yes, but you've also gotta make sure that that college has, not that you send it that day, but that they have your transcripts and your test scores or letters of recommendation, whatever is required. So just pay attention to those deadlines, gather everything beforehand. You're going to definitely need to provide transcripts from all the high schools and the colleges if you've done dual enrollment, but definitely gather everything beforehand when you're ready to apply. You don't have to submit it all at the same time. You can apply before you turn in those documents, but if you're cutting it close to that deadline, make sure everything is together at that point. Also submit your financial aid applications. If you need financial aid to attend college, most students do, you're gonna to need to submit first the free application for federal student aid, the FAFSA. While this isn't required for admission, it's still a step that again, 99% of students need to complete before actually going to college. Uh, some students waive the FAFSA if they know they're not gonna get any federal aid, and if that's you, that's okay, but this is still a good step for most students to take. After you've done these steps, wait for your admission decision. Colleges usually review your applications and notify you of their decision. Some colleges uh, will notify you after a specific date, like if you applied for a regular decision or an early uh, decision or action application, they usually have a set date where they release those decisions. For example, UGA, their regular decision deadline is usually January 1st, and they usually release those admission decisions around the middle of March. Some colleges release decisions throughout the year. Just know that not every college releases their decisions at the same time. Sometimes too, with getting to that decision, they may require an interview or some additional steps, especially if honors uh, is considered for that, like if you're doing the honors college at that school. Ultimately, your decision when you get it depends on the type of application period you applied for, early action, early decision, regular decision, et cetera, and when that college is college releases your decisions. So here's the fun part though. Once you've made it through all that, choose your college. Once you've received your admission decisions, maybe you've applied to several colleges, choose the one you wanna attend. 
and notify that school of your acceptance. It's also going to help the other colleges if you let them know that you're not planning to attend there. You technically don't have to most of the time, but it'll save you from getting frequent calls or getting mail from them or getting multiple emails from them. As someone who used to work in a college in the admissions offices, I've actually worked in a couple of them. We do like to know when y'all are no longer planning because we know that sometimes we call you a lot and you're tired of it. And um, if you don't want to go there anymore, we're totally fine with letting them know. <laughs> so just let the colleges know if you're not planning to go there anymore as well. After that, there are enrollment requirements, so uh, submitting a deposit, registering for classes, attending orientation, but your college is going to assist you through all those steps. Again, that's the fun part. I promise they're going to help you get to that part. Why? Well, one, their salaries are literally tied to getting students enrolled at their college, so they are financially obligated, but 99% of people who work at a college, especially on the enrollment side, so financial aid, registrar, admissions, they're doing that because they enjoy working with students and they enjoy helping students. So they are going to help you through all those steps. So with all that said, here's my advice. Just apply. Just apply. Are you concerned that you won't get in? Well, you can't really control that. But you can't control applying. So again, just apply. You already don't have admission to that college. The worst thing that happens is that you still don't have admission. Yes, they'll officially let you know that you weren't admitted, but in reality, there's no difference between that and not getting in because you didn't apply. You're still in the same situation. On the other hand, if you've researched your college and you meet the academic profile of their students, that is you have the GPA and test scores that it looks like a majority of students got in prior years, you have a good chance of getting in if you apply. Again, if you don't get in though, it's not the end of the world. On the one hand, you might have the opportunity still to get into the transfer process at a later time. We'll talk about transferring another time. On the other hand, your life doesn't have to stop because you missed out on one college. Chances are that your major is offered at hundreds of other colleges. I can definitely count on one hand how many majors are offered at just one or two colleges. But chances are your major is offered at hundreds, if not thousands of colleges in the U.S. alone. So it's okay if one of them doesn't work out. It's okay if 10 don't work out. Ultimately, the most valuable things you get from college aren't related to the college's name or prestige, the most valuable things are the people you meet, your personal, your professional development, and your education and pre preparation in the fields that you're interested in. So don't tie your future to a name. Going a bit further, if your goal is just to go to college, I'm going to say something controversial. If your goal is just going to college, you're wasting money. Your goal should not just be going to college for college's sake. Your goal should be your personal, professional, and educational development. If you're not planning to use college as a springboard into your future, you're wasting your time and your money. And if one of those springboards, one of those colleges, don't work out, look around you and see all the other amazing ones out there. I promise you, there's more than one college out there that can help prepare you for your future and that will invest in you as you are now. So with that said, take a breath. I hope that this encouraged you and I hope to help explain the process for college admission as well. But if you have any questions for me, like always, you can book an appointment with me through eClass. Have a great day and go Falcons.